So this last weekend, we finally made it to Battle Mountain Brewing Company. We had been meaning to go there for quite a while. Yeah, though, quite a while. Yeah, so, since before yeah. the sale to Battle Mountain, or the change of name. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, what's do we know what the story is on that? Uh, I don't confidently so I can tell. A, I believe it's just, it was just a sale. Okay. Yeah. Tell so they just switch ownership. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there were um, Gold Camp Brewing, not a Battle Mountain. Yeah. Yeah, and I so. heard uh, I I heard you know through the groups or whatever that uh, Gold Camp had really gotten their beer beer game raised, and uh, we're like, hey, we should go yeah. back there, and uh, they got sold off, and we didn't make it, and we didn't win, and yep, yeah, so yeah, so full disclosure, we had a couple different beers when we were there, we had a couple, and uh, well, we'll see how these are. So for the uh, so what do we? So this we is the Hefe, the Hefe Bison. So the yellow gold Hefe. Yep. So we got that. That is true to name. Hefe Bison, and then uh, later on we will be trying the um, coffee nut coconut espresso porter with switchback roasters beans. Yeah. <sighs> and switchback I think is the roaster a, right yeah. next to him. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I'd assume, I, I'd assume so, yeah. yeah and it's kind of neat if you go there when they're roasting coffee and brewing beer. It's you kind of, it's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> Where do I go? You're running back and forth. Yeah, so I can't remember what I had. I remember I had the Irish Red. I thought the Irish Red was good. Could have been a little bit maltier, but it was still really, really right in there. And then I had a, I want to say a chocolate stout. And and the chocolate stout was really good too. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I had the triple. It was that was okay. It yeah. wasn't the best. I'll, I'll be honest. It wasn't the best triple I've ever triple that I've ever had. Um, but it was still good. It was, was good. Yeah. yeah, it was fine. It was needed to be a little it. more bitter, a little drier. I would, I would like to have a drier finish to it. Um, so it was kind of on the sweet side, but. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that. Oh, peanut butter stout. That's what I had. Yes. What it was. Yes. Yeah, and it was really pretty good because the a lot of times with peanut butter beers, they you get like an artificial flavor to it. Yeah. And not this one. I got a lot of peanut in the nose and then a little bit of peanut butter in the flavor. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. What else did I, oh, I had their cream ale then as well. And that was that was good. That was a good lawnmower beer. Nice, refreshing as advertised. But now the Heffen here. It smells more like a Belgian, like a wit. Uh, you know, I, I was I was thinking the same thing. I was just like, you know, this isn't really. I was expecting to get hit with either clove or banana or both. Yeah. But I'm not getting hit with really either. I think I get a little bit of the hefeweizen clove or, and kind the aroma. A little bit of the, the clove and all yeah. But almost like a Belgian character to it. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, I, I think if you didn't tell me what this is, I would say it's a Belgian. Uh, yeah, I would have guessed it yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 delicious. Good. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Yeah, there's nothing nothing to say I wouldn't drink all Yeah, of and this. of course brewers aren't, you know, tied down with the guidelines like we tend to hold people to the guidelines. Yeah. But, oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, no, that's very good. That's a really nice finish. Really smooth finish. And then it leaves the flavor on your palate. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's just Nice and rounded. A little sweet, little maybe, yeah, probably clove like. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, mm. I think that's where we're getting the Belgian things. Just, just the right amount of clove that is giving that impression. I'm guessing. So yeah, that's, no, that's, that's, that's okay. Good. Yeah, so six percent. It it doesn't taste like it's six percent. It doesn't. No, I would I would guess four, four or five. Yeah. Or, not that I would so uh, yeah, yeah, not the prowler you want to open up before you're mowing the lawn. <clears throat> Wait, we did the mowing the lawn thing last time, didn't we? Uh, probably. Pretty recently, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now so we got the, the coffee nut cocoa nut espresso porter with switchback roasters beans. <sighs> Makes me mm. wait, even when you say it. Oh, that is. That yeah. smells wonderful. Yeah, I'm kidding. That's. Boy, true to name. Yeah, I mean, it's like sometimes the espresso comes through, sometimes the coconut comes yeah. through, but they're really in there intermingled yeah, nicely. Yeah. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, that, that's a great aroma. More coffee in the flavor, uh, espresso. That's funny. See, I'm getting a little bit more coconut. Still getting huh. the coconut, yeah. But the, I mean, there's co coffee in there, but definitely getting the coconut. That's quite good. 
I think for me the the <clears throat> it's the flavor starts with the coconut, but then it quickly goes to the espresso mm. and ends with a you know the astringency you get from mm. the coffee. Mm. But yeah, that's really good. I like that a lot. It doesn't feel as heavy. No, it's pretty no. light. Yeah, and normally that's one of my complaints. Oh. It's like oh, it should be it should be heavier, and this is perfect. Nice chocolate flavor stuck around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the finish there's a little bit not chocolate so much as cocoa for me. Because it's a little bit more bitter, yeah. a little bit drier. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so I gotta say we're pre we're pretty happy with the beers we had there. Hmm? Yeah. No complaints, that's yeah. for sure. If you're one of the folks in the club that have eye spindle parts mm -hmm. that Jesse's holding on to, you missed it. Yep. You, you missed it. Could have had some. Could have had yeah. some of these beers. And, and when our, our friend John Landerman came down and hung out with us. Yeah. Yeah. We saw him in one of our previous episodes. Yeah. So, so we, yeah. we got to suck more knowledge out of his oh, brain. Oh, man. Which he, is... And he dumped some knowledge on us, yeah. too. <laughs> that guy's sharp. <laughs> he knows a lot about brewing. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Very nice. So, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah, the Heffa Wit. Yeah. Maybe it's a new style. Hef, yeah. The Heffit? The 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 Heffit? Hef the hef I like that. <laughs> the Wittewaisen? The, the, the Heffawitzen. Wittewaisen. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's at uh, 6%. Then the, I'm not going to say the whole thing, but the coffee nut, coconut, espresso porter. Yeah, that's quite good. And that's 7.1%. Uh, oh, I do like that a lot. Yeah. That's one thing I did seem to think or maybe that was a different brewery i was thinking that a lot of their beers were they didn't have too many light beers like low abv beers mm -hmm. all the stuff was kind of medium to heavy although that's not true now though because they had the cream ale um didn't you have no. a blonde did you have a blonde i did not have they had a one. cream ale irish red and yeah. then they had the two ipas and the hazy ipa well i was just not necessarily talking about taste lightness. I was talking about ABB. ABB. Yeah. So I thought even the cream ale was a little... Yeah. For, I think it was like fine. five, right? And the Irish red was like five. Yeah. So yeah. yeah maybe I'm thinking so, of yeah. something else. They brew like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it'll be five percent. Oh, it's twelve. Yeah. No, I'm gonna, seven. I'm gonna make, a, make an English mild. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's an imperial English mild. <laughs> what are you gonna do? So, but... Uh, so I definitely oh. go back. Yeah, so in case you don't know, they're... Uh, uh, 1007 South Tejon, so it's kind of in between downtown, what you might think of downtown, and like... Las Vegas. Yeah, in Las yeah. Vegas, down towards Motor City area, so... Yeah, and if you, you know, need some Army Surplus, you go right across the street to the Army Surplus store. Or, if you're getting Army Surplus, and, you know, it makes you thirsty, you go over to Battle Mountain. Because <laughs> it's the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. That's it, right? I think so. Yeah, go. Right, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching our video. Check out our website at coloradobrewtalk.com for more great content. While you're there, be sure to leave us a comment or drop us a line with your thoughts. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at CO Brew Talk or follow the links below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content. Or episodes. That's the case, baby. <laughs>